something in a note. I tried to tell him to like say that there are these things. Okay, so let's go to number two first, and then when he pops back in, we can go to him. Okay, that's fine. Uh, good morning. Um, do we have uh, William Francis Bagley? You need to unmute your device, sir. You're going to press star six. There you go. Yes, Your Honor. I'm here. So you are William Francis Bagley. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and quash the warrant on your case. I'm going to give you some new dates for you to come in and take care of this case. You have a pen and paper okay. to write it down with. Uh, I'll remember them. Um, um, and then uh, the, the county clerk told me I need to let you know that I uh, I transferred counties when I'm on the DOSA program and I, I live in Spokane. So the future court hearings are going to need to be via Zoom. Okay. Well, we'll we'll discuss sure. that. Um, okay, so okay. your dates, you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, January sixteen at one o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Your second date is going to be February twenty at nine o'clock yeah. in the morning. Yeah. And your trial date is going to be March fifteen, and that's also at nine o'clock in the morning. January sixteenth at one. Okay. Yep. Okay. So right now you are scheduled to be in person here at the courthouse. All right. I want you to get in touch with your attorney. Actually, and, yeah, I've, I've already contacted him. Okay. And tell him what the situation is, and he will see if he can make arrangements for you to appear by uh, Zoom. Yes, Your Honor. Will do. Otherwise, you are required to be here in person on those dates. Okay? Yeah, I'm I'm just on DOC over here, and uh, and I just graduated treatment. That's why I missed court, and okay. so um, it's difficult. You know, I can't I can't leave the county, or you know, so I just I just need to take care of this. But uh, well, like yeah, I said, I, Mr. I, I, Mr. Lee can can help you with it. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, and congratulations on uh, graduating. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate that. You have a good day. You too. Bye. Okay. We're going to go back to number one. All right. We have um, Ruslan Arabsky. Arabsky? Uh, yes, Ruslan Arabsky, and this is the interpreter, Your Honor. Thank you. And if you could ask him to unmute his device, please. Господин Арабский, пожалуйста, снимите себя с немой связи. He needs to press star six on his phone to unmute. Господин Арабский, пожалуйста, нажмите звездочка шесть на телефоне, чтобы снять себя с немого связи. Your Honor. Uh, may the interpreter inquiry, uh, was that a case for Russian or Ukraine? For Russian or Ukrainian? U Ukrainian, and he just popped out. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> uh, we're, we've been having difficulty. He's been popping in and out. Uh, if you can uh, wait for a little while longer, uh, next yeah. time he comes back in, we'll, we'll bring you back in, if that's okay. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Here, no, hang on here. He just came back in. Yeah, I'll be here. And we're connecting. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, need to unmute your device, sir. Budlaska, Budlaska, Sir, I cannot hear you. You need to unmute your device. Мы не чуємо вас. Будь ласка, зніміть себе з німого зв'язку. You're going to see a little red microphone with a slash through it. 
Якщо ви бачите маленький а, красний мікрофончик, перекреслений. Okay, sir, can you hear me? Чи yeah. ви нас чуєте? Я yeah. вас чую. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. All right. So you are Ruslan, is it Arabsky? Дуже добре. Вас звуть Руслан Арабський? Так, так, мене звати Руслан Арабський. Yes, yes, that is my name. Uh, Руслан Арабський. Okay. We are going to quash the, war, the warrant on your case. Uh, ми знімемо або анулюємо ордер uh, на арешт по вашій справі. And I'm going to schedule a new arraignment date for you. You have a pen and paper to write this down with. Я призначу вам нову дату пред'явлення звинувачення. У вас є uh, папери uh, та ручка, щоб записати нову дату? Так, 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 є. Yes, 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 I do. Okay. We're going to schedule the arraignment for January 10 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Ми призначаємо вам дату пред'явлення звинувачення на 10 січня у 2 годині. Це січня, да? Угу, January, right? January 10. 10 січня. At two o'clock in the afternoon. У другій годині дня. That's going to be in person here at the courthouse. І це ви повинні з'явитися особисто тут у будівлю суду. And you should be in courtroom number four. І це повинно бути у кімнаті суду номер чотири. Do you have the date and time? Ви записали час та де? Yes, 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 I did. Okay, then we are all done. You can go ahead and log out. Дуже добре, ви закінчили на сьогодні. Ви можете вже розреєструватися в системі. Дякую, дякую, гарного дня вам. Thank you, thank you, and have a good day. You do the same, and thank you, Madam Interpreter. Merry Christmas. І вам того ж також. І дякую перекладачу. Merry Christmas. Same to you. І також вам. Дякую. Thank you. Have a good day. Happy holidays. Same to you. Thank you. Next case. Next case I have is Summer Castro. Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry. I'm just trying to get this. You're on. Oh, you just muted. You need to unmute your phone. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about that. All right. So you are uh, Summer Castro. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and quash the warrant on your case. I'm going to give you some new dates for you to appear on this. You have Thank uh, you. pen and paper to write the dates down with? Yes, I'm right. I have a pen and paper, yes. Okay. Um, we're going to schedule your pretrial for January 18 at 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay. Your readiness will be February 22nd at 9 a.m. Okay. And your trial date will be March 15, also at 9 a.m. Okay. Okay. Each of those dates and times are, are in person here at the courthouse. And you should be in courtroom number five. Okay, room five. And I want you to get in touch with your attorney's office right mm -hmm. away. Let them know yes, that sir. you're back on the docket so that they can be prepared to proceed on the 18th, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. All right, you have a good day. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Right. Next case I have is James Cleveland. Mr. Cleveland, are you, there we go. Can you hear me okay, sir? Yes. All right. Um, Mr. Cleveland, we're going to quash the warrant on your case today. Okay. And I'm going to give you some new dates for you to come in and take care of the, take care of business. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, you have a pen and paper to write these down with? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. We're going to schedule you for January 16 
<clears throat> at one o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Your readiness date will be uh, February 20th at 9 a.m. And then we're going to schedule your trial date, and that'll be March 15th, also at 9 a.m. Okay. Okay. Um, each of those dates and times are in person here at the courthouse. Okay. And you should be in courtroom number four. Or five. Your next step, I want you to get, pardon me? Is it five or four? Four. Okay. We're we're doing some changes as far as courtrooms, uh. So oh, okay. Yeah, it it it'll be a little different. Um, okay. I want you to get in touch with your attorney's office within twenty four hours. Okay, just okay. let them know that you're back on the docket, and uh, so they can be prepared to go on the January sixteen date. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, sir. You are all done. You can go ahead and log out. Not yet. Yeah. Next case I have is Zachary Collier. Good morning, sir. I need you to unmute your device. There we go. Can you hear me okay? Yes, Your Honor, I can. All right. So you are Zachary James Collier. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, sir, we're going to go ahead and quash the warrant on your case. And I'm going to schedule a new date for you to come in and take care of the issues that need to be resolved, okay? Yes, sir, Honor. Uh, we're going to schedule this for January 9th at 10.30 in the morning. And you will be here in the courthouse in courtroom number six. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you got the date and time? Yes, Your Honor. All righty, sir. You are all done. You have a great day. Thank you. You as well. Okay. <clears throat> Next case I have is Nicole Crow. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor. You are Nicole Leanne Crow. Is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. We're going to quash the warrant on your case this morning. I'm going to give you some new dates. Okay. You have something to write these down with? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, we're going to schedule your pretrial. Uh, is going to be January 18. Okay. At 9 o'clock, or excuse me, 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Uh, your readiness will be February 22. Okay. At 9 o'clock. And then we're going to schedule your trial date also, and that'll be March 15, also at 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay, and these are all for the warrant? These are on your driving suspended charge. Okay. Um, I see you don't, ha you don't have an attorney. No. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, this is a very old case. All right. Um, probably what you're going to want to do is when you come in on the uh, pre-trial date, you can ask the court to reappoint a, an attorney for you. Okay. Okay. Um, so you got your dates and times? Yes, I have the uh, January 18th at 10 a.m., February 22nd at 9 a.m., and then March 15th at 9 a.m. Yes. Okay. Um, so that's all I've got for you. You have a great day, and we'll see you on the 18th. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. I appreciate it. Okay. Next case we have is Patrick Dennis. Good morning, sir. If you could unmute your device, please. Yes, sir. There we go. So you are Patrick Levi Dennis. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, we're going to quash the warrants on your cases this morning. And I'm going to schedule some new dates for you. You have something to write okay. these with? Yep. Okay. We're going to schedule your pretrial. 
uh, for January 16 at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Your readiness will be February 20 at 9 a.m. And then your trial date is going to be March 15, also at 9 a.m. March 15th? Yes. Now, um, okay. All right. We, we do have two cases, and they are different jurisdictions. So I'm going to give you some a little different time also. Okay. Yeah, Your Honor, can I, can I say something? Um, they're di different jurisdictions, but they're the same case. I uh, got arrested in Kelso, and then whenever they took me to the jail, which is in Longview, I told the arresting officer that to, to search me so that I didn't get you know in trouble for bringing in contraband. And he uh, okay, sir, found some. Sir, yeah. Sir, I, I'm going to advise that you not discuss facts of a case with me. Okay, yeah. Sorry. This is something that you would need to talk to your attorneys about. Okay. okay. So, um, and they're not the same cases. You've got a controlled substance charge, and then you've got two protection order violations. So they're yeah, it's, it's a same arrest, arrest, arrest is what I'm saying though. Okay. So um on the second case, on the on the protection order case, your dates are going to be the same for your pre-trial and your readiness. You're gonna have a different trial date, and that's gonna be March eleven at nine o'clock. Okay. okay, so I'm, I'm going to see if I can confuse. But, uh, All right. So on the controlled substance charge, um, you're going to be in court uh -huh. four. All right. And you need to be here at one o'clock for the pretrial, 9 a.m. for the readiness. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you repeat that, uh, sir? I'm sorry. Okay. We've got January 16 at 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. March or February. February 20 at 9 o'clock. And then March 15 at 9 o'clock. Those are going to be in courtroom number four. Okay. So you got that? Okay. All right. And that's on the controlled substance charge. Yeah, and the other okay. ones, the only difference is uh, is the trial date? No. Okay. Um, Sorry. The, the, the pre-trial date is going to be the same. It's one uh, January 16, but it's at 1245. Okay. You, you just cut out. I didn't hear it. it you cut out and I didn't hear it. Okay. Uh, the pretrial is January 16 at 12.45, not 1 o'clock. 12.40. So scratch the 1 o'clock? You've got two different cases. Okay. You've All got right. two, two got different it. sets of dates. Okay? Yeah. They are similar dates, but they're different times. Got it. Okay. So... And, and they're going to be in different courtrooms. Okay. So on the protection order case, you're in courtroom six at 1245 on January 16. You'll be in courtroom six on February 20th at 145. Okay. And then your trial date is going to be March 11. Okay. Your Honor, you're cutting, yeah, you're cutting out, but I, I, so you said, um, February 20th at 1:45, as well as 9 a.m. Correct. Two different courtrooms. That's, that's correct. Okay. And then your trial date is March 11 and March 15. Okay, both at 9 a.m.? Those are both at 9 a.m. All right. 
I think I got All it. Right. All <laughs> yeah. right. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. You have a good day. You as well. <laughs> Next case I have is Gregory Doan. Good morning, sir. If you could unmute your device. Uh, yes. You can take your hat off. I would appreciate it. All right. Uh, so you are Gregory Allen Doan. Is that correct, sir? Yes, sir. All right. Sir, we're going to quash the warrant on your case this morning, and I'm going to give you some new dates for you to come in and take care of this. Okay. You have a pen and paper to write these down with? Yes, I do. Okay, we are going to schedule your pretrial for January 16. Okay. At one o'clock in the afternoon. One sixteen at 1 p.m. Okay. Your uh, readiness will be February 20 at 9 a.m. February 20th? Yep. All right. At nine o'clock. Okay. And then your trial is going to be March 15. Okay. It's also at nine o'clock. All right. Those are all live and in person here at the courthouse. Okay. You should be in courtroom number four. Courtroom four. All uh, right. You, you need to be aware we've had a little shake up as far as courtrooms are, are concerned. So you need to okay. check and make sure that you're in the right courtroom. Okay. Will do. But you should be in number four. Um, now, I, I want you to get in touch with your attorney's office. And who is that, may I ask? Well, it's County Public Defender's Office. Okay. you have their phone number? No, I do not. I'm going to give you their number. All right. And it is 360-578-7430. Uh, mm -hmm. Seven four three zero. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. You should have called them today. Let them know that you're back on the docket. All so right. They can get you in and be ready to go on the sixteenth. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Any questions? No, sir. You are all done. Then you may log out and you have a great day. All right. You too, sir. <clears throat> Are you trying to get rid of me? No, I just want to make sure the wire We'll do one more. Okay, I'm going to skip Shira Cool because I cannot get her to connect. Okay. Next case I have is Angela Massey. Ma'am, I need you to unmute your device, please. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Okay. You are Angela Marie Massey, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Man, we're going to quash the warrant on your case today. Okay. Schedule Thank some you. New, yep, we're going to schedule some new dates for you to you know, come in and take care of this, okay? Okay. You got a pen and paper to write these down with? I do. All right. We're going to schedule your pre-trial. Okay. January 18th. Okay. At 10 o'clock in the morning. 18th at 10 o'clock. Your readiness is going to be February 22nd. February 22nd. At 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock. And then your trial date is going to be March 15th. March. Also 15th. At yep. Was that the 15th? 1 5. Yes. Okay. At what okay. time? At nine o'clock. Okay. These are all three dates and times in person here at the courthouse. Okay, in person. Thank you. <laughs> you should be in courtroom number five. Courtroom number five. And I. When was the last time you had contact with your attorney? Um, last week. Okay. You might want to give him a yell, let him know that you're back on the docket so that he can get prepared and be ready to go on the 18th. Okay, perfect. All right, you are all done. You have a great okay. day. Okay, thank you. And we're going to take a brief recess. Now.
Okay, we are back on the record. The next case that I have is Christian McPherson. Yes, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You are Christian Aaron McPherson, is that correct? That is correct. All right, sir. We are going to, looks like we've got two cases that we're going to quash warrants on for you. Yes. We'll take care of those, and I'm going to give you some new dates All right. for you to come in and take care, get uh, the ball rolling on these, okay? All right. Um, looks like it's going to be the same date for both of them. Your arraignment is going to be January 10 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And it'll be in person here at the courthouse. You're going to be in courtroom number 5. Room five. Yep. All right. Any questions? Uh, nope. January 10th at uh, 2 p.m. Courtroom five. Yep. That is it. All right. Got it. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. You have a good day. You too. Bye. Simi. Okay. Next case I have is Simi Warren. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. You are Simi Lee Warren, is that correct? Yes, sir. All righty. Um, good morning. We are going to be quashing the warrant on your case this morning. I'm going to schedule some new dates for you to come in and take care of business on this, okay? Okay. Uh, you got a pen and paper? Yes, I do. All right. We're going to schedule your first hearing date is going to be January 18 at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. January 18th at 1 o'clock. Yep. The second date is going to be... Uh, I have another court date on that same day at 9 in the morning. Uh, uh, here, in, here in Callis County? No, in Thurston. Okay. It, I, believe, I believe it's in Thurston County. Okay. Um, well, let me see if I can find you here. Just a second. Maybe we can adjust things a little bit. Um, I don't. Oh, it's in Kittitas County. I, I don't see, for some reason, it's not showing up in my system. Um, Do you see anything for me? Uh, you said for January 18th. I don't, I don't see any other pending cases in your name. January 18th at 1 at uh, uh, January 5th, January 17th, January 18th right here at 9 a.m. in courtroom 4 at Thurston County. I, I again, sir, I don't see any other cases in the court system. That I don't well, I don't know why. What, what, kind, don't of know case, why. what kind of case is it? It's for driving on the suspended, I, I believe. Yeah, driving while license suspended. Okay. They give me the case number. Yeah, my case number is 3A06356. I think. When was the, the citation issued, sir? Um. I, I don't know. I just got it. 
I can only see really London and Friedrich, but it said canceled. This hearing was canceled. Violation date September 27th. So it says jury trial two on 118 2024, 9 a.m. and room four canceled. Case position closed. Uh, okay. So he doesn't have anything. Okay. So this is what what I'm going to do. My my clerk is giving me information on that case. Uh huh. Uh, it may be uh, dismissed, uh, oh. but I'm not telling you that it is. I'm, okay. I'm okay. Because yeah, I was about to say I just got a letter. I just right. got a letter. So. so she she's looking. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to go ahead and schedule your dates for, for this case here. All right. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to tell you to get in touch with your attorney's office, figure out what's going on with the case in Thurston County. And if you need to reschedule one of the dates, then you can, your attorney can help you do that. Okay. So at one o'clock on the 18th, we're still going to schedule for that though, right? Yes. So we're going to do one uh, January 18th at one o'clock. Okay. And then your uh, readiness is going to be February 22. And that's at 9 a.m. February 22nd at 9 a.m. And then your trial date is going to be March 11, also at 9 a.m. Okay, March 11th at 9 a.m. Those are all live and in person here at the courthouse. And you'll be in court. Okay, so it's not Zoom. I have to come in? That's correct. Okay. It'll be courtroom number four. Uh, all, all three of those? Yes. Okay? Okay. What I want you to do, first of all, I, I would suggest that you call Thurston. You said Thurston County? Yeah. Um. Call uh, the, because call I don't live in the area. I I don't live in the area. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want I want you to get in touch with Thurston County and find out what the status is on that other case. Okay. Okay. And, and then I want you to call your attorney's office. You have their your their phone number. Um, I, I I'm I have a public defender. Right. Callis County Public Defender's Office. Right. You have their phone number? No, I do not. Okay, let me give you the number. You ready? Yes. 360. 360-578-578-7430. 7430. Yep. Got it. So you're going to get in touch with them. You're going to talk to your attorney. Mm -hmm. If you are out of the area, okay, or mm -hmm. if you have if you have a conflict in another court, mm -hmm. talk to them about it. And okay, it can help you resolve those issues. Okay, all I'm going to do is tell you you need to be here. Okay, but your attorney can help you work work through those issues. Okay. Okay. Yep. Any questions? None. Very good, sir. You are all done. You can log out. You have a great day. You too. Okay. All right, we're going to go back up to page three, number 11. Ira Kroll. Okay, next case I have is Shira Kroll. Hi, I'm here. Good morning. Morning. You are Shira Audrey Kroll, is that correct? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're going to quash the warrant on your case this morning. Thank you. Schedule some new dates for you. You have a pen and paper to write these down with? Yeah, I have paper. I just moved it right here. Oh, there it is. Right. You have a writing utensil? I do. Okay. Your first date, your pretrial is going to be January 16 at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Your readiness will be February 20th at 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay. 
And then your trial date is going to be March 15, also at 9 in the morning. Okay. Those March, are all March 15. Okay. 9 o'clock. So you have all three dates and times? By January 16th, February 20th, and March 15th. That's correct. Yeah. Those are all live in person here at the courthouse. Okay. You'll be in courtroom number four. All right. When was the last time that you had contact with your attorney? Oh, it's been since uh, the last court date that we had. Okay. I want you to get in touch with Mr. Lee's office today. Okay. Let, let them know that you're back on the docket so that they can be ready to go on your pre-trial date, okay? Okay, what's their, their office number again, if you have it? Um, I do. It is 360-425-3091. Sweet. Thank you so much. All right. You have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay. Next case we have, and it is uh, currently 1044. Docket started at 930. The following people are not present. Nicole Johnson. Warrant will stand. Uh, Amy Jo Love. Not present. The warrant will stay in place. Austin Shade. There's three cases. Defendant is not present. Warrant will stay in place. And that takes. Good morning, all. Uh, I have an inquiry. Is uh, anybody here substituting in for James Burnett? Yes, Your Honor. This is Mike Schmidt. I'm here um, okay. standing in for James Burnett. So you're here to cover Colleen Cruz? Yes, Your Honor. All right, we're going to go. I understand that she is present. Yes, Your Honor. So we are going to go ahead and do that case first. Okay. Um, I have that citation up. And you may proceed, sir. Yes, Your Honor. I do have some preliminary motions um, in the report. Uh, there's no agency included in the signature block as required by RCW 550010. We'll move to suppress the report, suppress and dismiss. I am looking at the uh, affidavit. I do not see an agency designation. So I will grant your motion. Thank you, Your Honor. And we will find this um, not committed uh, for lack of foundation. Thank you, Your Honor. And that is my only matter. Very good, sir. Thank you for your attendance. Thank you. The next case I have, I have another defendant present, um, David Zimmerly, Mr. McCullen. Your, Your Honor, good morning. Good morning. Present, Johnny McMullen, present, Your Honor, on, half, on behalf of David Zimmerly. I have that citation up, and you may proceed if you have anything preliminary. Your Honor, I have a, a couple of preliminary matters. I think um, the first, Your Honor, is is um, a motion uh, 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 is a hearsay motion. Your Honor, it seems to me that um, the case is kind of um, supported only by the hearsay statements um, of a Mr. Johnson, 
And Your Honor, under um, um, under the standard hearsay um, rule 802, uh, ER, ER 802, Your Honor, we would ask that that um, hearsay statement, for, for a number of reasons, Your Honor, it's rank hearsay, first of all. Um, and secondly, Your Honor, it's particularly unreliable in the circumstances that it was given in because the statement was really only made. The case was about an unlawful display of a weapon and um, the individual was kind of giving the uh, rendition to the to the uh, trooper about what happened based on uh, an attempt to explain the um, display of a weapon, the pointing of the gun at Mr. Zimmerly. So he was coming up with a reason, Your Honor, quite frankly, uh, why he would have, have pulled the gun. It wasn't really about a traffic infraction per se. It was really about the the, the gun charge, I think. Um, and so it wasn't given in circumstances that would make it reliable anyway, but it is rank hearsay. And as a result, we'd ask the court to please um, suppress that statement. Yep. Okay. Um, I, I will grant your motion with regard to uh, any statement from Johnson. Your Your Honor, thank you. And and we would respectfully suggest that with that statement suppressed, there would be no basis left. I think it would be important. And I don't want to waste the court's time. I think it would be important to mention that the trooper did not see any of this. This is not the type of circumstance where um, the trooper gives an infraction because they the trooper witnesses a speeding uh, infraction or witnesses a failure to make a lane change properly or something. This was based purely. So there's a 602 issue with regard to lack of personal knowledge. And even though that the that IRLJ clearly 3.3 clearly contemplates the trooper being able to submit um, an affidavit in, in, in opposition to live testimony, it's still it's still information that the trooper would have had absolutely no way to know unless they were listening to Mr. Johnson's a statement about what happened, which really would have been the only basis for the uh, infraction in this circumstance. So really, um, it's it's a motion to dismiss, Your Honor, based on the fact that without the the uh, the hearsay statements that the court has already excluded, uh, there wouldn't be any basis for the ticket. I think that's an honest um, assessment of what is happening. And I think I agree with you. Um, officer doesn't have any personal knowledge whatsoever of the, the allegation. Um, in infraction, in infraction cases, it's pretty much a standard. So um, I will find that is not committed for lack of foundation. Your Honor, we certainly appreciate the court's time and consideration of our argument today. Okay. Certainly, you have a good day. Your Your Honor, happy holiday. Same to you. Okay. See, David, you can you can disconnect. And we'll go to Oral Shane Balloon. <clears throat> Good morning, Your Honor. This is Attorney David Vanderpool appearing on behalf of Mr. Balloon. Your Honor, there's a motion to um, find not committed for lack of foundation. I'm looking at this, and I have a notice of infraction. There's no police report uh, in the, the body of the text and no attached police report. Let me see what I've got. Okay, I have a citation. Doesn't appear to be any attached declaration to the citation. And I don't see any other separate um, declarations. So I will Fine, this is not committed for lack of foundation. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Have a great day. You do the same. Uh, takes us to, yeah, let's see. Um, Jackery Brown. Good morning, Your Honor. This is John Clancy here for Attorney Foley. Okay. Good morning. Uh, this is a uh, failure to obey traffic control device um, citation. Uh, there's a number of issues with the, the narrative attached to this. 
Um, the uh, the officer who signed this affidavit did not actually witness um, the the driver passing a traffic control device away in motion is not a traffic control device. Um, the uh, the officer was sitting in the office and and was notified uh, pursuant to the way in motion that somebody had crossed it. Um, mm -hmm. Additionally, there's no language for this traffic control device. There's no, no specific traffic control device discussed. Um, you know, there's a, a hypothetical uh, traffic control device earlier uh, before the way in motion. Uh, as we said, the officer never witnessed him pass the sign. He could have gotten on the freeway uh, um, after the, the sign was placed and never passed the sign. Additionally, the, uh, the sign is a writing pursuant to evidence rule. Uh, 1001. So a, uh, a duplicate did need to be produced. There is no picture of the sign. And as discussed before, the officer does not state the language <laughs> the sign um, had. Uh, there's also no language in the, the narrative stating that the sign was um, unobstructed or turned on uh, or properly erected, which uh, is a defense uh, to the statute. So for all these reasons, uh, we would argue that the uh, the burden of the state is not met in this case. Yeah. I would agree that the uh, the declaration of the officer is uh, very lacking in, in some very significant details. Uh, location of the sign, uh, whether or not there is another entrance after the sign, uh, and so forth. So I would... <clears throat> have to find this is not committed all right thank you your honor all righty sir you have a good day you too all and that brings us to pablo diego rodriguez good morning your honor good morning sir and for the record, Jack Math, on behalf of my client appearing on his behalf today, you know, this would be a motion to suppress on the 3.1B. This company was requesting the December 3rd, and we've not had a response from their office. Okay. All righty. Okay, I have a demand for discovery. It looks like it was filed on December 6th. We have... A declaration of mailing indicating that it was sent to the College County Prosecuting Attorney's Office. And again, sir, it's your testimony this morning that you have not received any response to the d discovery request. That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. I will dismiss the citation and the okay. discovery violation. Thank you. That's all I have. You have a great happy holiday. You do the same, sir. Thank you. All right. I have to take a short recess. I should be back within two or three minutes. <clears throat> we'll finish the docket.